melting. Now it's only sucking. Okay, I apologize for jumping right into this one, but we had a little issue when we were running the sander on the boat. We got pretty much, I mean, it's gotta be cleaned up. But the air compressor died. <clears throat> I was going, next thing you know, it's filling up, and all of a sudden it went from a dull hum to a little cha 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 cha, like a sticky valve on a car. And what we found out here was so here's the valve plate. This is a Husky 60 gallon air compressor, and I found out that this is a 755H Sanborn compressor air pump because Matt Industries puts this together for Home Depot and they assemble a whole thing and these pump these air pumps made by Sanborn I believe uh, the 753H and the 755H have pretty much the same thing except for the head is slightly different and what happened was uh, we got it on the bench over there, but one of the revalve reed valves uh, ex uh, ruptured. So we still got a little bit of air in the tank, but we'll take that over the bench. And it's pretty simple. I mean, there's a couple screws to get the, this off, and then I think there's eight bolts holding that down. But we come over to here. And when I contacted several places, they said that Sanborn does not offer valve replacements. Um, here we got the... Obviously these things just get stripped out since they're brass, super soft. So what you gotta do is get yourself a nice pair of Knipex, whatever the hell they're called. Grab them, loosen them up prop right out um, but here is the ruptured one you can see there's that gap in there and that was going like that and basically as the air comes in that piston pulls down it pulls air through and since Sanborn does not, or at least they say, or at least the air compressor shop that I went to, so they do not carry replacement valves, reed valves. These are a reed valve, but they call them flapper valves for God knows why. So they don't make replacement ones. So here's the original. Here's one that was close in specs. They said the screw holes would not line up, which to me looks like they do just fine. However, this one measured at the original one. Here we got uh, mode. I think this one was yep, two inches on the dot. This one was 1.97, so 30 thousandths. Yeah, we can, when we actually look at it, and you place it over top, it covers up just fine. Could it be a little more? Yes. Could I also care? Yes. But, new head was like $130, gasket was another, 2025 reed valve just to replace the reed valve four dollars so i figured i might as well risk four dollars see if it works and if this didn't i was going to get some shim stock and just make my own reed valve because right now this is not much of a difference as we can tell just a little bit about that much of a difference. But 
I'm going to hunt down some Loctite. Even though I should have red Loctite, not blue Loctite. And then we should be good to go. And we're back. We got some blue Loctite. Like I said, it should be red. We got some $4 reed valves. And yeah, it's actually checking the price. Home Depot does not sell parts either. And they want you to buy a whole new pump, air pump, which was like, I think it was like $300 to something. I think 275 or somewhere, I don't know, I don't remember. But I only paid, I think, $475 for this air compressor. And now the air compressor is almost $800, which who knows why, right? Maybe a little inflation going on. But I'll take a still annoyed about how much the compressor gasket costs. Paper towel. I think, see, this one's tighter. Yep. Now, the question is should I replace that one while I'm at it? I'm sure that loses a little bit. Man, oh man, don't want to open a can of worms, but I do have two. I also ordered an extra head gasket. I figured this won't be the first time I blow this up. And I was really irritated because I was in the middle of sanding and I wanted to get all the sanding done so I could paint this week. And I wanted to paint my mold. Of course, that didn't work out at all. Now this is what the uh, old reed valves are good for. Cleaning up the old gasket. all this lip this is where all the ceiling surfaces are so I was pretty bummed out but it was Monday this happened on the 4th of July the dog just had surgery so of course I can't do anything but I can but he likes to hang out in the shop with me which he can do while his recovery but this made it so I had a wasn't able to get many hours in in the boat which I'm starting to my whole goal is to have it have a motor mounted on it ready for next year. I mean, I didn't want to put myself on a time crunch so that way I do everything <laughs> right. <laughs> also, the difference between a 753 head and a 755 head is this little port, which is supposed to be a bleed-off port, which maybe, I don't know if you'd bleed the tank down. Well, this is exhaust side. So yeah, so you could bleed off the tank like that, which I don't know why you would. You can just bleed out the screw on the bottom or your air hose. But gaskets are the same. I guess I should check the gasket now. Also, I think here is the part number for that reed valve for a 755, 753 head. DS001800AV. They said this wouldn't work. Very important. We'll see if they're right. If I'm right. And this looks like the right gasket, so we're in business. Yeah. So I'm not going to have the best lighting over here, but this gasket's a little. A little wonky if you can't tell, but look, I just found this where that corner is mashed. So I'm going to have to try and straighten that out before I put that on or else that's not going to seal. Well, we got that straightened out. <clears throat> Should be good enough. 
It's straight enough. <clears throat> it's not necessarily on the ceiling side. But I don't know about you guys, but sometimes when I ever get working up, you know, working around the shop, get moving, I usually have about a good 15 minutes in me before I just, I have to make an emergency run to the bathroom. But, so this valve plate, I'm gonna hit this with a scotch brake real quick, clean it up. Get some of that off. Maybe this gasket's still on here, still darn flat. So I'm just gonna clean it up a little bit and put it on. Okay, so had to finish cleaning up that, scrape all the old gasket off. We get that down. Now, something remember, you guys in the future doing this, there's a little cap that gets screwed on here with a little air vent. I unbolted everything and I tried prying up on this and then I realized, yep, don't be like me, there's two more bolts in there. Because that would be a really goofy configuration to not have those two bolts. Hindsight's 2020. But, alright, we're ready for the gasket. And, can we put you right there? See the old saying? Good enough for the girls I go out with. So now I know that's the output outlet side. And we know. Just go like that. And this goes like this. Turn off. Turn like that. And. So it's two different sides, two different length bolts. Short ones, long ones. Short ones go in short spots. Okay, we're in the back of the air compressor now. There's that Torx up top. And there was one, two, three, 10 millimeter bolts. Now we got these T20s or T25s. And we gotta put these in now. Okay, we threw all those back in the housing. I think there's like eight of them all around the edges. But we are back together now. Oop, right there. We are back together. I guess now just time to put some. I guess we'll slide this back because, of course, my plug can't quite reach. So we'll slide this thing back and get some headphones on and we'll uh, try and start her up. Well, she knows the pressure. Just as exciting for you guys as it was for me, but uh, probably have another minute to go from. Man, this thing just heats up so quick. I think I'm gonna put a air cooler on this thing. I mean, that was 88, and down here you can see it's 
75, so where it was 13, 14 degrees. But I might send an email to that guy to let him know that, yes, in fact, those reed valves do work for this. And no, I don't have to spend $130 on the head. I can spend $4 on reed valves. You know, and it's a success. Now we can get back to sanding. The real exciting stuff.